Hey, what to do, man? It's your boy Rich Homie Corn, and right now you're watching Gatto with the guy you know, and it's me, Rich Homie, baby. What's up? It's Nick Gallo, Gallo guy. You know, I'm here with the homie, Rich Homie. How are you, bro? How how's everything been? Ah uh, man, everything been everything. I feel good. How about you, man? Yeah, good. You know, can't complain. I know it's a big year for you. You know, March 16th. Yes. It's a big day. How does it feel still to have? it out now and you know touring and yeah. just doing everything with it i to be honest man it feel amazing man it feel good you know what i'm saying to be on tour you know what i'm saying retaining spirit tour you know that my debut album dropped march 16 so like i said i'm in good spirit my spirit rich i feel good i'm back on road you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i'm excited my uh my fans still fucking with me yeah. you know what i'm saying that's a good thing you know what i mean because like i've been doing it now for like going in seven years yeah. well more than that but well, people have known me for about like seven years, so it's like it'd be hard to stay consistent. You yeah. feel me? So like, I just be trying to stay focused and keep the right people around me. Mm. You feel me? That's yeah. where it started. Yeah, one thing I really liked with this album, you did not just ten tracks. Uh -huh. You did what? I think nineteen tracks. Yeah, nineteen. Yeah, you know, like, did you really want to make sure you had a good, good big body of work? Because I know today a lot of people, you know, it's seven tracks, eight tracks, sometimes ten if you're lucky. So how was that? Well, for one, I had put a lot of songs on there only because, like, my fans, like, my core fans, they haven't heard, they hadn't heard no music from me in, like, a little minute. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to make sure I gave them enough body of work where they could be satisfied for a little minute. Yeah. You know what I mean? For, like, a year because I knew I wasn't going to drop no music for a little minute. So I wanted, to, I wanted to get them, like, 19 songs, a body of work, not just seven, not just eight. I wanted to get them a body of work where they could be comfortable with, where they could, you know what I mean, have enough music where they could ride to, they can vibe to, different songs for different feelings, yeah. different type of moments. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And what's one song that you really enjoy creating, either writing, you know, producing, what well, one song you really loved, and then one song you love performing? Um, I would say I like well, all of my babies. All my songs are my babies. And it be hard to pick one song when you like, when you when you're so in depth with music and you're so in tune with what you got going on, but if I had just like to pick my favorite song making, my favorite song making would have to be number two. Fuck with me, okay. you know what I'm saying? I co like I co-produced it, okay. so it's, it's different when you're producing and you know what I mean it's a different feeling. In it. My favorite song performing probably will be changed. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole different vibe. Every time I do it, I just be feeling like we in Miami somewhere or some shit. If I'm so be a different vibe. Yeah, and I know you're like you're, I think it's a little much, almost halfway through the tour, because you yeah. started, I think, June 14th in Phoenix, and now you're in Chicago, so how's it been so far, and I know you wrap up in Atlanta, hometown, so how's it been? Oh, uh, man, the response been crazy, yeah. you feel me, like, the response been stupid crazy, like you say, we started in Phoenix, we're in, the, um, in Atlanta on August 18th, then after that, we off for two weeks, then I go overseas to Europe, yeah, so like, like I said, I just, I'm so excited just to be back on road, being able to tell my story and hoping it motivates you and inspire you in a good way. Yeah, you feel me? So, like, for me to be booked up the way I'm booked up, oh, that's good. Then, like, the fans' reaction have been crazy because, like, you know what I'm saying? This is a real show. Like, well, like, I'm getting up close and I won't, I'm getting personal with them. Like, the things I'm saying that definitely from the album is definitely personal. And like, you can just definitely tell I'm into it. Any crazy things happen so far in the store? Any crazy fan story? Anything that really pops out? Anyone do something crazy on stage that really sticks out to you so far? Oh man, man. <laughs> no, I don't really want to say no crazy. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just enjoyed Enjoy. everything. You know what I'm saying? Like this ain't my first tour, but just like this is my first headline tour in the, yeah. in the state. So I feel good about it. But you know, like tour life is tour life. Like what goes on on tour stays on tour, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna get myself in no trouble. I've just been enjoying life, man. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. yeah, and I know you start Europe in September. Yeah. So what's one place in Europe that you're really looking forward to go to that you haven't um, been to before? I, I haven't been to Belgium, if oh, I said it right. Yeah, Belgium. Yeah, I haven't been, never been to Belgium. I'm excited about Spain, the Paris, and I just want to go shopping and stuff. But <laughs> opposed to shopping, of course you want to, like, go into different, um, different countries and observe different cultures. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't saying I'm going to be trying out different type of foods, but... It just be different overseas, like everything be different, man. So I just be excited, you know what I'm saying? Coming a long way from Atlanta, Georgia, and being able to go across the and tell your story, knowing that these people don't book you and they don't even know you, but they live to your music. Yeah, definitely. You feel me? So that be deep. 
And, you know, another thing, you know, collabs are a big thing. Who would you love to work with? It doesn't have to be necessarily like a feature, just maybe someone you want to work with in the studio, behind the scenes. Who's someone still on your list before you retire from the game? Like, you're like, yo, it has to be on my credits. I got to work with Rihanna, man. Yeah, I got to work with Rihanna. Yeah, I got to work with Rihanna. That'd be big. That'd be dope as hell. Hey, yeah, I fought with her. Yeah. And, you know, what else are your plans for the rest of 2018? What do you still want to accomplish that still on your bucket list that you're like, yo, I have to do this? Uh, well, well, what's still on my bucket list, for one, I definitely want a Grammy. Okay. Uh, what's the rest of the year, what the rest of the year holds for Rich Homie? Um, more touring, um, dropping more new music, and I want to drop another album before the year. Right? Like, when I say new music, that's like an EP. Get the people in the EP, and after that, you know, like another album. You feel me? Been going to again. <laughs> dope, dope. Well, bro, I want to wish you all the best of luck right, you, on the tour. Yeah, for sure. And it's Nick Gale, the other guy you know, your rich homie Quan. Yeah, so.